Hello, welcome to Margaret Being Margaret. It is the most glorious day in the Northeast. And I decided to get my butt outside and start pulling up some of these really pretty flowers and putting them on the other side of the house because this is where they're gonna start digging if they ever start digging. And they will, and they will. Um, such a great thing. You know, I'm always thinking about how, whoops, Evan's here, hold on. What's up, Evan? I just started working out here and you know, I'm always talking about how I can't find any help. There's a, a young boy, I heard me say Evan's here, um, just stopped by on his bicycle, asked if I needed some help. I was so touched, asked his name and he's nine and he's trying to save up money because he wants to be a mechanic because he loves cars and he has a brother who likes to mow lawns and I said, well, I have boxes in the cellar, but you can't come in the house until your parents okay. And he just came back to say, mom and dad have to meet you first. Um, so he'll let me know they're home and they're eating. <laughs> and he'll stop by and let me know when they're available. I just think it's hysterical. He's a very enterprising young man. In the meantime, I've only done a tiny, tiny bit of um, taking the flowers out. And I am so out of breath, it's ridiculous. Now, on a personal note, this is TMI. Went to the doctor's Friday. Did you hear that? I went to the doctor's Friday. I um, had to cancel my yearly physical. And if you followed me from last year, you know I found a new doctor, went in with my coat on, refused to let her even do blood pressure, just said, I'm here to meet you so that I have a primary. Um, and she was fine with that. She said, you know, if that's what you need, that's what you need. But because of the way my schedule is now, I couldn't get to her this week, so I had canceled. Well, 70 years old, here's the TMI pop. First time in my life, I have a urinary tract infection. Uh, somehow it feels like an accomplishment to me, and it's not. Those aren't fun. So I don't, f haven't been feeling really well this week, and they put me on, oh, so I called to say I need to make an appointment. They had a cancellation Friday. I happened to not have the baby on Friday. So I went in um, and it was wonderful. They were so funny laughing at me. Hello, ladies from Dr. Levin's office. They did subscribe. Um, so they better be here and check in with me to tell me you're here. But they remembered me from last year. You know, I guess it's kind of memorable when an old lady won't even take her coat off at the doctor's office. And they were amazed, at least the nurse was, that um, I was functioning. <laughs> so anyway, they put me on a medication for the UTI. It is killing my stomach, but it's only seven days. I can make it. Um, but I did notice <laughs> what I started to say, long way around, is I'm tired. So I'm going to do what I can. I just want to get this up because they're so pretty. And I don't want to lose them. I don't know if Michael and Nikki care, but I do. So I'm going to get up as much of it as I feel like doing and take it over to the other side of the house and find a spot for it for now because that won't be pulled out. And, and I know I don't have to get all of this because it, it spreads. For all of you who love yard work, remember I don't. Somebody will be able to tell me what this is, right? I've come to the conclusion that the town I moved to only has Pisithia bushes and daffodils. They're everywhere. I happen to not be a fan of Pisithia bushes, but the daffodils are beautiful. That gets enough of this out of here that will keep them growing in a new spot. Michael and Nikki should know preliminarily what's going to be leaving us <laughs> um, this week because they'll be meeting with the architect. So this big one will go along with that. Most likely at least two of those. And the big one here will leave. Now that one can't happen soon enough for me because it's in the driveway. I don't know what these are. 
what they'll turn into. They look like maybe a lily. Oh, here he comes. Yes. Also have a lot of said daffodils over there. I don't think those have to come out except for, I don't think they'd be in the way like of a driveway, but the, there'll be big trucks and excavators in. So just to be safe, I'm gonna pull them up. You know, the minute the weather gets nice out, I just want to sit down. The rest of you get all this energy. I lose all of mine. I have to get painting in the house. I can't get started. I'm in the stall. I would rather just sit here and do absolutely nothing. Oh, look at that pretty tree too, huh? I don't even know what that is. That is on on their prop, or on on Mike and Nikki's property. And right here, after talking to my new best friend, I forgot to turn the microphone back on again. <laughs> ah, that was enough. So the boys came over. <laughs> Mom came over and met me. And the three boys, ooh, sun's out. The three boys just took all the boxes from my bedroom, everything that I brought over from the, the Dighton house, and took them down cellar for me. I had been trying to figure out how I was going to get that done because they've been in the way. And when I'm now that I want to paint the little one's room, hold on, I got to get my sunglasses. Um, oh, that's much better. Gosh, it's so warm out. I feel like I should go down cellar and get out one of my lawn chairs and get a tan. It's really too hot for the sweatshirt, but this house is colder now than it was February and March. I've actually got the windows open to let warm air in. It's frigid in there. I don't know what it is. I mean, it, it looks like it's going to be great for the summer where they won't have to use a lot of air conditioning. I got a message. I got a message from. CVS, our pharmacy, that my steroid medication was ready. That's a medication that they told me I couldn't have for a month. And if I want it now, it's $500. But I run out, I think in three days. So I put in a call to the doctors. Why? I sent a message, email, to the doctors asking them to look into it. I haven't heard from the doctor's office, so... I don't know if I'm supposed to now take a ride and see if I'm going to get it because they called it in again. And I'm too lazy to call the doctors. I'm probably going to end up taking a ride later. It'll give me something to do. I didn't have the little one today because it's school vacation. But I will have her the next three days. And then I won't have her on Friday. I had her Saturday just for an hour or two because that was Nikki's mom's funeral. And then yesterday, Nikki had some place she had to be, and Michael had Nick drop her off here because he was working in the house and he wanted a chance to see her too. So that was kind of counterproductive because it was so loud. You know, he had all the sobs going and everything that I ended up taking the little one outside and walking her around so that she could take a nap. But it made Daddy happy. So today was a grocery shopping day get my yard done. I had promised myself I'd start taping off for painting today. I think I'm going to break a promise because it just feels too good to do nothing. Hopefully in the next week we'll have an idea of house plans. Just an idea. It is moving so much slower than I thought it would and I then I think it should. And you all warned me. But there's no reason for this. This I, is all the architect. Yeah, it, does, it doesn't make sense to me. But I guess it doesn't have to. I'm just going to 
keep forcing myself to paint and getting it ready so when they, they're ready to put down floors and stuff, everything else will be done. And then the big work begins. I'm gonna go in, have a cup of tea, and then take a ride and see if my prescription is gonna cost me $500 <laughs> and get that done. I hope the weather is glorious where you are. I hope you're having a great week. You all take care. I'll see you in a bit. I'm done.